This is a 2019 Princess F70. It is massive. And I'm going to give you a quick walk around this boat and explain some of the key features. I would say, um, please excuse my hair today. Um, I really need a haircut. But as I've said before, these videos are all about the boats. They're not about me or my poor presenting or my staff's poor editing. It's all about this boat. So this boat we sold new in March 2020 and she has only covered 81.5 hours. She is huge. I mean, if I should, look, I'm standing on the pontoon, I'm six foot, I'm reaching up, look, and I'm still just over the gunnel. It's really, really big. It's got these lovely blade windows, which is all the rage at the moment with all the manufacturers. But it does look really, really cool. I don't know if you can see on the front that it's a Portuguese bow, which means you've got seat to get the bow as well. And yes, before you message me and say that looks like another one alongside, it is an identical one alongside that we've just sold. So let's have a walk on board. Okay, so let's go on board. By the way, that's a, a Williams 360 on the back there. That's the crew cabin door there. We'll go into that afterwards. The boat needs a good clean, but it's clean enough for me to show you how well she's laid out. So here's the saloon. Here's the galley here, and this window hinges up here. The dinette here, which has got leather seats, so food's dropped on it, it can be wiped off easily. And you've got a full galley with a fridge freezer on the left there. And then moving forward into the lounge area, there's a pop-up TV over here. And you've got the lovely coffee table. It's a lovely area. You can probably seat, I don't know, 12 people around here. But look at the glass. There is stacks of glass. I won't open every cupboard because we'll literally be here all day. But I will open a few. This one's the uh, ice maker with the music. This one's the fridge. Um, there's the TV slot there, you can see that there. Here's the lower helm. This one's got MAN V12 diesels, which are 1400 horsepower each. You've got proportional thrusters there. And this screen here controls the fins, which are like two fish gills. Well, they're bigger than fish gills, but they're big lumps of metal that look like fish gills that are hanging off the bottom of the boat with hydraulics and they stop the boat swaying. So you don't spill your GNT on a nice hot sunny day, because that would be a pain. And then you've got little seating area there there's the access to the master cabin, which is a lovely feature on the F70. We'll come back to that in a second. Down through the steps. Now these steps lift up to make extra storage for suitcases, because it's always a pain to find a place to put a suitcase. The standard princess controls. We've got three cabins here. That's the VIP master, and these are two twins so sleep six down here and you've got a bathroom or heads as the technical term is in the boat world but it's a toilet really and a shower beautifully made as, you, as you'd expect this is the VIP so this is your best friend's cabin you put him and and uh, his wife in here 
because actually it's a really nice cabin. Wardrobe's there. You'll probably want to wander further than Britain's coastline in the boat, as nice as this. But there's the other. So this is their own private heads. Okay, so I'm gonna just slowly turn so I don't give you vertigo. I'm just gonna show you. So that's the mast, that's the VIP master. I'm now gonna turn 180 slowly. So you can get a feel for where we are. That's a heater down there, by the way. Then you've got the starboard cabin coming up here and the port cabin there. I won't spend much time on these because they're all very nice. But if you're the owner, you won't be sleepy in these. And the kids love these cabins and they're out of the way of the master's suite. So back up the stairs. Just look at this space and then we're going to go down that staircase I showed you earlier so down we go do you like my rolling stones you see the rolling stone socks on today right god it's down here okay this is the master so as with all princesses, it's a beautiful Hypnos mattress. Big, big windows. This one's got the blinds down. There's your sock sofa. Very good for putting your socks on. Beautiful materials in here. I can't know if you can tell with the textures. And all of these are lovely. The reading lamp. And then you've got the big TV. Does anyone watch TV these days on a boat like this? I think there's better things to be doing on this boat. Um, there's your air conditioner, light switches. Big wardrobe, I will show you this wardrobe. It's got a lovely, lovely leather finish. It's got a little light in the top, so you can see which shirt you're wearing. And then the bathroom, massive shower. Lovely sink and toilets. Big window so you can look out the window when you're on the toilet. Tail rail. There's the bed. Now I want to show you something else. Princess have designed this so that the lady must be on this side of the bed because if I open this, I think it's this one, yeah. It's got a little makeup table. I think there's a light, but I don't know. Oh, there's me, but I think there's a light, but you can put all your bits and pieces in here and look out the window. It's a gloomy Essex day today, so apologies. Now we will go to the flybridge. I've left some of the covers on this boat because one, it's the winter, and two, it takes ages to take them on and off. And I'm running out of time today. The teak needs a good clean on this boat, so please ignore that. But do have a look at the Portuguese bell. In fact, if you look at the one to the left, it's uncovered. So you can see what it looks like without the cover on. You've got seating here, which is all covered up. There's a sunbed here as well. Big table for dining. Lovely barbecue, I'll show you that in a minute. Seating here and a sunbed here. Barbecue is a really nice one. And a big fridge under here for all your water and soft drinks and there's a bin here as well no there's not bins there another fridge there but if i stand behind the bar you can get a feeling for what a lovely space it is just imagine this boat being in the hot sunshine 
not in Essex on a gloomy day, but in the sunshine with all these covers off, sunbathing here, having a G and T music blaring. It really is another world. Now I'm going to show you the engines, which is my favorite bit. So this is the engine bay. So we're going to go down this ladder here. Actually, I'm going to turn around. I don't want to fall down. Excuse me. Two seconds. Oh dear. Oops. Oops. I think I need to lose some weight. Right, we're down here. Right, so we've got two generators. The hydraulic pack. And then behind me is the door. And the door leads you into the engine bay. And just look at those engines. Now here we have a pair of MAN V12 24 litre turbo intercooled diesels developing 1400 horsepower each. So we are talking, ladies and gentlemen, nearly 3000 horsepower. They are, let's press this button a second. I'm on that one right. They are huge. These are the air conditioners. I want to give you an idea. That's your air filter. Look at my hand. There's the air filter. Here's a turbo. There's my hand. Just to give you an idea of how big the turbos are. This is one of the exhaust elbows. So just look how big that exhaust is. And it's got various sensors on it and what have you. And then down here, the, there's the strainers. That's for the seawater cooling. Another one here where you can see the seaweed if you've got some hydraulic gearbox and you've got the shaft. Can you see the shaft down there? It's about here, look. Shaft is beautifully finished in here. Absolutely love these engines. Let's have a look on here, what does it say? Got controllers here. Oh, it's the emissions and what have you. Anyway. Let's go back up to the saloon and I'll wrap up a quick summary of this boat. So in summary, this is a 2019 Princess F70 twin 1400 horsepower diesels. A boat will do about 33 knots. It will use loads of diesel, probably 300 litres um, an hour between those two engines, but it will be the most fun you've ever had. It's for sale with us now. It's priced at 2,499,000 or close offers. By the way, please excuse the kids in the background. They're on half term this week and I've got them helping me. I don't know if they're much help though. They're, doing, they're putting the covers back on for me. If you're interested in this boat, then we are open, subject to social distancing guidelines, seven days a week and it's a difficult one to beat. Thanks for watching. Oh, one last thing. If you do like our videos, and I can see why you wouldn't, but if you do, then please press subscribe and like it and comment and say stuff if you don't. Thank you, bye.